the importance of water quality and, and fresh stocks for our elders and our kids and our communities uh, is of the utmost important for not only our people here, what are my people, but a lot of Aboriginal people on the East Coast. Oyster reefs, as the name implies, are simply an aggregation of oysters that grow one on top of the other to create a structure like a reef in the estuary. We restored oyster reefs in Port Stephens by placing oyster reef bases made out of gabion rock in intertidal areas that we knew oysters would survive. The oysters naturally recruit on those rock structures and grow from there, creating a biogenic three-dimensional reef. We know from historical records and from mapping that oyster reefs were once widespread in most estuaries up and down the New South Wales coast. Our recent mapping shows that there is small areas still left, but the vast majority has now been lost. The Port Stephens Oyster Reef Project is certainly looking like it's a very large success. In the first year alone, we had over 50 million baby oysters recruit to the stage one of the works. The monitoring that has been going on has showed that even at only eight months old, those oysters were actually filtering 400,000 litres of water in Port Stephens. So that's really working hard to take those nutrients and particles out of the water column and give us really good water quality here in Port Stephens. As a recreational fisherman, uh, having a healthy estuary is the key to basic any fishing. The benefits of oyster reef restoration are massive to recreational fishing. The reason being it's structure, structure for fish to hold, uh, structure for fish to breed, so it's a massive win for recreational fishing. The oyster industry has always been known as the canary in the mine because a healthy oyster industry indicates a healthy estuary. Oyster farming is farming and funnily enough our paddock where our, our oysters grow we have no control over really but for us one of our main ways is to do it in this passive way of encouraging uh, the ecology to flourish in its own right. It's in our interest to uh, have the most healthy estuary as we can and uh, replacing all those oyster reefs that have been lost over time is uh, a great way forward for us. This uh, new oyster reef restoration program that's going here, um, our people have been in heavy support, especially traditional owners here since its inception coming through a couple of years ago, because uh, we understand the benefits that come out of it or derive from it, not only in structure, um, species, fish species coming back and invertebrates coming back into the area as well as oyster stocks as well, um, but the fact that oysters are, are filter feeders and keeping our waterways clean here as well. Benefits of shellfish reefs for local communities. There's an immediate benefit of more jobs. Um, to build reefs, you need a lot of people to be involved. In Port Stephens, there was 11 jobs that were created during construction, and these workers contributed 2,150 hours to the project. So bringing back shellfish reefs will bring back all the services they used to provide, filtering water, providing habitat for fish, and protecting shorelines from erosion setting up these reefs here to sit there and look after water quality and it's just not a here and now thing, um, that's going to be there for the next couple of generations and keep on going after that. So uh, the advantages coming back is just going to be endless for decades to come.